welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host Aurora and I'm very happy to be spending some time with you today. I hope you had a good day so far. I hope it's flowing and you feel good about yourself and you can be in the present and just feel good. If you don't feel great, no worries, we have all those days and this little episode might cheer you up, make you feel better about yourself, about circumstances, about other people. Today I want to talk about second chances. I think we have to talk more about second chances because we are way too hard with ourselves when it comes to mistakes that we've made in the past disappointment that we created in other people's universe (laughs) and we have to learn to forgive ourselves first we have to let go of regret we have to believe that we can be better people in this moment from today on from this second on It is a choice, a very simple choice that you make in letting go of your past and being a different, better person today without being dishonest with your soul and your purpose. You can still be on your path. You can still be um, chasing money, chasing that job, chasing that relationship, but you can be that better person and still be authentic that is what I meant and when it comes to other people I learned that there's no other way than forgiving and forgetting and knowing that other people change too they grow they feel regret they feel fear of having resentment from others chasing them you know like bad karma so what I invite you to do today is just play with the idea that you could be that forgiving person that you could be totally forgiven and start anew with a clean slate do you say clean slate clean shirt (laughs) I know you know what I mean and I know you know I'm not native English so you're not gonna harshly judge me here so let's get back to the topic forgiving others is what we have to do in order to live a free happy content life if you still cling on to resentment if you still think that person deserves punishment that person deserved to suffer because they hurt you in the past then you will never be free you will never live a life that feels good to your soul think about the pine cone a little metaphor here we have plants tree seeds out here that need fire to start the ignition of growth. So these seeds have to go through a forest fire in order to grow a tree. And I love to use that metaphor. I love to use it when it comes to people because there's people out there who like flowers just grow grow from a seed, and then glow. (laughs) Might as well use the word that just slipped out. And they have a very simple life, a straightforward life, an easy life. And there's people out there who have so much energy and sometimes even with good intentions, they pave their way into a criminal life and then end up in prison and have to... Yeah, digest the consequences and everything. And there's people who are 
yeah, constantly making mistakes and you just think, why is that person not stopping this? And why can they not just be straightforward and not making those mistakes anymore? And I include myself 100%. There is people out there, excuse me, that need to make certain experiences. They have to go through trauma. They have to go through pain in order to become better people, in order to become who they're meant to be. It's just like the butterfly, you know, the little worm or sorry, the caterpillar, who then transitions into a butterfly, it's a dramatic change. It's a beautiful change for an outsider, but for that caterpillar, it's certainly very scary and uncomfortable. And there's so many caterpillars out there who go through pain and transformation, but still not see the butterfly that they became. They still cling to the pain. They still cling to the past and are so sad and even pity themselves for having to go through that pain. And I'm not looking down to these people because I've been that person before. I didn't understand why me, why did I always have to go through intense heartbreak, intense feelings and disappointment and disappointment with with people and now I understand now I get it and I'm okay I'm resilient enough I can handle this pain I can move on I can forgive and I can inspire other people to never give up and to especially when the going gets tough to believe that this is for a good reason Even though you don't see the good reason yet, it is for a good reason to go through pain at times because it will unlock energy that we need out here in this world. It will start, ignite healing inside of yourself that you can then um, use to support other people out there who are maybe at a stage before you, like earlier than you. You can be a leader when you went through pain. And now I touched the microphone, sorry if that was disturbing for your ears. When you went through pain and you were able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, you can guide people through that tunnel now and give them all the support and everything they need to make it through. So we have to forgive the sinners. We have to forgive people that hurt us in the past because we're all just a shitty experience, a shitty decision away from being a criminal, from being a bad person, right? It's all a choice that we make. And some people make very bad decisions, shitty choices, but we can't keep beating them up because it's exactly those people who can, at a later stage, maybe help us go through stuff. We're all in this together, and I want you to look at yourself today and see if you cannot forgive yourself just a little more, even if it was a slight meaningless mistake for others that you've made in the past, but you still cling to it, you still define yourself by it. Try to let it go more and more. Every time you judge yourself for that mistake, just let it go. You are forgiven from the outsiders, so forgive yourself now. Thank you so much for listening, and I'm very, very, very Grateful to have you here. You don't even know. <laughs> And I'll be out there tomorrow again.